Hey guys, welcome back to the tribe. I'm Logan. And I'm Devin. Girls interested in registering for the CT Youth Softball Community League can do so by mailing in a registration form by January 31st. The cost is $50, discount for multiple children. Prices begin the first week in February. Informational papers can be picked up in the high school office. Also, check out the signs around the school. Dine out on February 10th at Hosses in Johnstown and support Camp Park. Stop in at the office for informational paper that you need to present to Hosses that day for Camp Park to receive a 20% discount for your total check. Leather jackets are in. If you order a jacket, please bring the remainder of the balance you owe to the high school office and take your jacket home. Thank you and see you next week. Hey, welcome back to Today in History. On this day in 1955, Russia and the state of war with Germany. That's it for this week. Catch you guys next week. I'm Matt. And I'm Logan. And this is our special guest. Anthony. And this is... Team of the Week. Hope you enjoy. Fun fact of the week is... A glass ball bounces higher than a rubber ball. Hello, my name is Nick, and Tyler is not here, so I'll be the only better man here for this week. On Friday, it will be snow, high 22, and low 6. On Saturday, it will be snow, high 23, and low 20. Then on Sunday, it will be snow, high 29, and low 12. Have a great weekend. Back to the studios. Hi, my name is Brian McClafferty, and I'm the Weber man filling in for Nick Doherty. Today's weather is 23 degrees high, 9 below. Oh, you're looking at partly cloudy. Back to the studios. Hi, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm, I'm reading Olivia. Harry Potter. And I'm reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And I highly recommend it because it's really good and it's Harry Potter, but also really sad. It turned off. <laughs> there it is. Cold red, I will paw revere you. I'm a ball till I fall, I will cavalier you. Space Jam jumping, they asking who let the monsters in here. Hello and welcome back to this week's sports. I'm Hannah. And I'm Katie. The boys basketball team played Rockwood on Monday and won 74 to 68 and won again against Portage. 69 to 43 on Tuesday. Way to go, boys. They play Monday at Black Lake. Game time is at 7. The girls basketball team also played Rockwood in Portage. They lost a hard fought battle to Portage 47 to 36 on Tuesday, but picked it up on Thursday and won against Rockwood 54 to 37. They play today at Black Lake at 7:15. Good luck, girls. Good luck to the wrestling team as they compete in the better Bedford <laughs> Bedford tournament all day today and Saturday. The rifle team won against Northern Cambria Wednesday night, 1341 to 1195. Then Thursday night, they lost against two boys, 1361 to 1359. And now to Brian with the sports interview. Hello, everyone. I'm your new sport reporter, Brian Wu, and this is Devin Foster. Today, I have some questions. Want to ask her? Ask him? <laughs> okay, so which restaurant would you? Um, go with your girlfriend and family. I take my girlfriend to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and I take my family to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, that's a good choice. Um, today's report is to hear. Thank you so much. Well, <laughs> Don't get on my best side, I'm dangerous. Demons and angels hang with us. Treat it like a phone, baby, hang. Side up, gonna bang it up. Don't you know I'm dangerous? I'm from where they hang them all. Throw your side up, gonna bang it up. Throw your side up, gonna bang it up. Don't be dangerous. I'm from the west side, no, not to play with us. Yeah, you thinking that it's sweet 
I swear I get all up in my feelings when you're not around, yeah. I get in my feelings when you're not around, yeah. I get in my feelings. Whoa. He made us feel so good, and he passed me the ball. He never passed me the ball. And he passed me the ball. I think I'm addicted to this lifestyle. I swear, I hope you don't just want me for my lifestyle. I swear, don't you. So if you think you're a student that would be a good candidate for pursuing a career in mathematics, um, a really easy way to research that is to just go onto Google and just put in careers in mathematics and you'll be able to get um, information about salary and job descriptions for 25, probably 100 different careers. Some careers you can do with math, besides a math teacher, are um, engineering is a big one. I had a lot of friends who uh, majored in engineering in college. Um, one was an electrical engineer, the other one was a civil engineer. But their course load was all all math classes mostly. So that's another field you could get into. Uh, my favorite math class to teach at the moment it is probably statistics. Um, so statistics is very um, real world applicable so we do a lot of problems dealing with things that you would come up come up on in, in real life. If you are thinking of maybe majoring in something of mathematics, it uh, just isn't for math teachers or accountants, but there's a lot out there that you could be doing utilizing mathematics, uh, working for Homeland Security, working for the government, a lot of companies are looking for mathematicians, just dealing with their statistics and finance and things like that. So if you have an interest in math, you really want to be able to take as much courses as you can here in uh, high school so that will prepare you going into the future. But math is not just about the math, but it's about problem solving, critical thinking skills, being able to work um, and pull apart things and put them back together. registering for the CT Youth Softball Community League can do so by mailing in a registration form by January 31st. The cost is $50, discount for multiple children. Practices begin the first week in February. Informational papers can be picked up in the high school office. Thursday, January 24th, there will be a softball meeting in the library during homeroom time slot A. Attention Township Buddies Club. We will have a game party on Wednesday, January 23rd from 3 to 4 in room 118. All are welcome. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to the tribe. I'm Tristan Hawkins, filling in for Dylan and Max. I'm Logan. The boys' junior high basketball team lost to Wimber and Portage. The girls lost to Portage and won against Rockwood this week. Junior high wrestling lost to Ligonier Valley. See you next week. Hi, welcome back to the tribe. This week, I'm here with future sports players, Ava and Ashley. So what junior high sport are you playing next year? Basketball. And basketball. Are you excited for the upcoming season? Yes. Yes. And now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. People hate and say we change and look. Hi, and welcome back to the question of the week. I'm Allison. And I'm Kendra. And today we're here with... Noah Gessen. And the question is... What's your favorite restaurant? Merchants. Now we're here with... Abigail Golden. And the question is... What's your favorite restaurant? Chili's. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next week. Are you sick of your phone not being able to stand up on its own? Well, we have a solution. CT Pop Sockets in red and black. Now you can enjoy watching the tribe hands-free while donating to the American Cancer Society. Hi, it's Sydney and Maddie. And here are the birthdays of the week. Happy birthday to Rachel Davis, Dakota Baldish, Brielle Hartnett, Tristan Hawkins, Sierra Moore, and Brenna Weaver. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. See you next week. Psych! That's the wrong number! <laughs> Wait.
Welcome to Rush Hour, ladies and gentlemen. You know the drill. 30 seconds of the clock. Let's get started. Question one! Marinara sauce or ketchup asked by Mary Jo. They're both tomatoes, so they're the same thing! Question two! If Cinderella's slippers fit perfectly, then why did one of them fall off in the first place? Asked by Grant McClement. I don't know, I just think glass isn't very form-fitting! Question three! What is your biggest dream that you hope comes true? Asked by Matthew Plummer. I guess I just want to be taller than 5'7 before I kick the can! Honorable mention! Let's secure this bread! Said by Rivers Cuomo! And with three seconds to spare. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Ask the Tribe. Be sure to ask us questions at Ask the Tribe on Twitter, because that honorable mention was just because I like Rivers Cuomo, and that, that's a funny tweet, so um, ask me questions. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm here with Marcy. I'm here with 